I have an 11 by 14 stretched canvas. I have pre-gessoed it. I put a layer of um, acrylic gesso on this and allowed it to dry fully. It took about an hour to fully dry. I'm going to take my pencil and just very lightly draw a line across my canvas where I want my horizon line doesn't have to be perfect, just so you have a general idea. Next, I'm going to take my palette and I am going to put some acrylic medium retarder gel on my palette. And then I am also going to put some white right on my palette. And I am going to mix half of this white with half this retarder gel. I'm gonna mix it up real good. I am going to take that mixture of the white paint and the retarder gel, and I'm going to just start applying it across my canvas pretty much everywhere. Next, I'm just going to take a large brush and I'm going to brush that mixture everywhere and spread it all along my canvas. I've put some white, light blue, and some ultramarine blue on my palette. And I am going to mix some retarder gel with each of those. I've mixed them all up and I am going to take some of that white on my palette knife and just apply it right along the line on the left side of the painting. Then I will take some of the blue, the light blue, and apply it right on top of that white line and below the white line. And then I will take some of this ultramarine blue and put that above the light blue and as well as below the light blue here. So now I've got my one inch brush and I'm going to just start moving the paint back and forth, the white paint only at this, at this point in time. I'm just kind of going back and forth along that line that I drew, also painting the edge um, of the canvas. But I'm going to slowly start working into the light blue here. I'm just kind of moving that around, getting the edge as well. And just allowing that um, light blue and white to mix a little bit. And then coming up here and doing the same thing, just going back and forth. Now I'm going to slowly work my way up and just start touching that ultramarine blue, just lightly letting that mix just a little bit here and there, getting the edge again. And then coming back down here and mixing that in as well. And so I've put a little more white and a little more ultramarine blue. I've got a tiny bit of black and purple here and I'm going to mix that retarder gel with all of these. Um, again, just like I did with the other ones. So next I'm going to take more of that blue and just apply it to the middle here and grab some of a little of that purple and white and just throw in a couple spots of purple and white along the top here and also a little at the bottom I'm going to take a little of that black and just put it in these corners over here and a little along the top um, and also in the bottom corners 
And so I'll take take that same brush and I still have some blue in it and I'm just going to start working right into the blue here and kind of just touch the purple. Let that mix a little bit. Not touching the black quite yet. And now I'm going to start working into the black and just getting the corners covered with black. Then working along the top edge here. Now I've got a little yellow and orange and I'm just going to take some of that white. This is already got some, already has some retarder gel in it and I'm just going to mix that with the yellow. And I'm also going to take a little and mix it with the orange as well. Then I'm just going to grab some of that white with my palette knife and put it right along the middle of that line like I did with the other side. And then I will grab some of this yellow, put it right on top and on bottom. And also grab a little of that orange and put it right above the yellow and below, below the yellow. And so I'm coming back with my large, my medium sized brush and I'm going to start with the white, just painting that line right in the middle, getting the edge. And then I'm going to start working right into the yellow allowing that to mix with the white just a little bit. And then touching the orange. I'm just going to take my larger brush, tap it into the white a little bit, and I'm just going to go over this entire area right here and just kind of mix it, get it a little softer. I'm going to also wipe it right off um, as I get to the blue and just go right over it very softly, pushing out some of that yellow and orange into the blue. I'm going to put just a little white right here. Basically, it was a little too yellow there. I wanted to add a little more white back in there. And now I have this fan brush and I'm going to get some white right on it. And I'm going to paint a few clouds just by pressing my um, fan brush, turning it this way and just throwing and pushing it back and forth, grabbing a little more white. and getting some thicker white strokes up here and then kind of just letting it fade lighter as it works down this way. And maybe some up here as well. Trying to get them kind of um, very organic feeling, not making them too perfect looking. And then what we can do is we can also just m grab a tiny bit of that orange and, or yellow too, a little yellow and orange, 
and kind of mix it with the that leftover white and just touch these clouds just a little bit on the bottom I want to also take some of that yellow and put it right along the edge of my fan brush there and just go across the water, making wavering my hand. and doing, grabbing just a little of that orange, mixing it with the white, and kind of just doing the same thing here. Waver my hand a little bit. Just going to grab a little of the blue and a little of that black and just go back in some of these spots, wavering my hand. Letting the lines get really thin in the back even getting a tiny bit of white and going over some of these in between the black As I allow my paint to dry, I have this scrap piece of paper and I measured a three by three square and I three by three inch square. And I'm just going to cut that square out. Take that paper and just fold it right in half. Now I'm gonna take that folded piece of paper and just um, along the on one side, draw half of a balloon. Um, of the hot air balloon. So it looks something like that. And I can cut that right out. And just check that it is the right shape that I want and that looks pretty good um, I might make this a little bit more narrow just by cutting this way and that will make this part a little more narrow and that works perfectly I want to come back to my painting and place out my template where I want my hot air balloon and I'm thinking somewhere right here in the clouds would be nice. My paint is just a little bit wet still. Um, so what I want to do is just trace around that using my pencil. And then once you're done tracing, just remove it as long as you can see your lines. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush um, it's pointed so I can get some so smaller areas and first I'm going to paint the entire balloon area white. And so now I just have some red, orange, yellow, blue, and violet just a little bit on my palette and I'm going to paint my entire balloon in. You can always draw some lines first if you're not exactly sure where to paint. Keeping the colors separate and not mixing them. Way around and now I'm just going to go right back to red because I have some space here. 
So with the leftover paint, you also want to throw just a little of that balloon color in the water. Um, so you just want to grab a little of each color, make very jagged lines here. Grab a little of that orange, the same thing. Some yellow. Also maybe come in with just a few spots of black here and there. Not a whole lot. I'm adding my second layer of color to the hot air balloon. And what I want to do is when I add that second layer, I'm going to take just a little bit of black and I'm going to just kind of touch right in between the colors. And what I'll do is I'll wipe my brush right off, maybe even rinse it, and I will go over that line again to blend it in and make it softer so it's not such a strong black line. Put black between each color and I'm also just going to grab a tiny bit of um, black with a little water in it and I'm just going to go over this this left side here um, and towards the bottom and give that a little bit of shadow. And that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.